All right, what do we have here? Uh, Sentinels on defense, G2 on attack. So when it comes to compositions, Nuki's playing Raze over Killjoy, which is fine. Nuki's a great Raze, so this is why he's playing it. Sentinels are playing Reyna. And I know Tens is like insane on Reyna, but I do think it will hurt, hurt them long term because they play a character that has no utility. Sorry, we does have the res. So he goes for the res. So now they know they don't have a Sage Wall. Which actually is a big thing. Losing the Sage Wall here and putting the wall like this means that Shazam can just fuck off. There's no reason for him to be here anymore. Because he knows that without destroying the wall, they cannot go B and they cannot plant B because of the lack of the wall. You will try and get this. Shazam is still on long B. I find this very interesting. Mixwell gets the opening kill, right? Tanz is holding this angle. Nuki is disconnected from the team. Does he die alone with no trade? He goes in with the satchel, which is nice. But he fails it. This is why this happened. This satchel is fucked, right? He wanted to go on king. He checks the right corner, but is fully exposed to this angle. If he would land on king, he would have not been exposed to this corner while he could fight those guys here. Like, there's no way. This is this is not a bot satchel. Like, he's, he's fucked. Yeah, yeah, th this is definitely not the way he wanted to use it. They lose one player here because of that. Mixwell got the lurk, but there's not enough time to be impactful as a lurker. And that's another problem. Typically, a lurker is very impactful if he can get the seed of fear into his opponents, right? If you go here through as a Mixwell you get the lurk while you have a lot of presence in a lobby players on a are now fucked they can be attacked from two directions but because there's only 20 seconds left and g2 has to go a those guys don't give a fuck about mixwell it makes no difference for them because Mixwell is too far away to be impactful. So they will just have three players fighting on A instead of being worried about, about being lurked. So good awareness by, by Sentinels here. What was Kellogg's doing here? Wait, what? Why is he looking into a fucking wall? If you have a Vandal in this spot, your barrel is not visible. There's no visibility of the ba of the Vandal Barrel if he looks this way. Phantom Barrel, visible. Vandal Barrel, not visible. Vandal is shorter by so much, by the Silencer. The other reasoning why he was doing like this is because of the Sage that is holding his back here. If Avova gets a contact, Kellogg's wide swings. But the thing is that, like, it's off-timed. Because Avova is not peeking yet. So... Might be the reason why Kellogg's is standing like that. Oh, okay, well, unlucky. Alright, so what is happening? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, baby! Something creative, guys. Look at this. Look at this shit. Creative stuff coming from G2. Look, 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 look. So what they do here, Avova is putting a wall from kitchen that blocks the access to kitchen, but at the same time, it gives space a drawer for Kellogg's to get the space and have like an insane angle. Does he get the kill or gets he punished by zombies? Let's get to know. He gets it. Oh my, that is so much worth. That's nasty. So it's a 2v3. Dapper low on HP. He's using that ultimate. Okay, okay, okay. So this is very common. This might actually be very impactful for your ranked play. You're a player that has only two angles to care about, right? Because behind you, you have the doorway on the minimap. So your back is protected and Dapper is holding this area. So you know that behind you, there should be no one. You have two angles that you are holding. The people that can be peeking is here 
This is the head. This is the head. Otherwise, you have a one way because the head will be like covering this. So if someone just peeks closely, he will not see you. The person from, from this angle here needs to wide swing. So his head will be here or he needs to crouch peek and his head will be here. And then the person from here can either short swing or wide swing. And then the person here most likely micro peeks to check the corner from, from here if no one is controlling mid. And if someone is controlling mid, then this guy just checks this corner first and then swings right to check uh, the side. He doesn't want to wide swing because he will be exposed to sight and he's, doesn't, and he's not checking this corner. Right now, Tense has a very tough choice, but he, since he's playing against, you know, this is a professional level, right? You most likely never have a fight 1v1 in a situation like this when it's already close to, like, ending the round because people will be trying to trade. So Tense, in his mind, he will be checking one corner... And when one guy peeks and hides, you need to check the other side. So, let me explain it this way. Let's say Coldamenta swings, right? Tense tries to kill him, doesn't get the kill, Coldamenta hides. Then Tense needs to move his crosser to this angle, because this is most likely where the second player is. If he holds this angle first, and the guy swings and hides because of this jet dash or whatever, then you move your crosser here, because that's most likely where the second player will be and will be just trying to peek you. Let's see what happens. Micro peek from this angle, right? Will he swing now to middle? Let's see. See, he doesn't care about this player. He literally did exactly what I explained. Oh, but Noki gets good timing and wins the round. But Tenz's game sense is on fucking point. Also because she has a fucking operator. That means she cannot re-peak him. Those micro decisions that Tenz is doing in span of like 100 milliseconds. Or two, I mean 200 milliseconds, whatever. Right? Are game defining for the team. And for him as a, as a player. Thank you for watching. We're going to see each other during the next video, which will be coming up soon. You know what to do. You, you, you can leave a comment and stuff like that. I'm not going to try to convince you. But if you would like to have a conversation with me, you can leave a comment. I will definitely answer.